All right, guys, so here's the new camera, and uh, here's the snowmobile motor. As you can see in the head, there was like a lot of, there was some salt that got in there or something. So I'm gonna have to clean all that up. And then in the case here, it got dirty and stuff from when the crank broke. And then uh, I'm gonna have the crank sent to a shop and have it looked at, and hopefully they can get that thing fixed up. And then uh, clean up the motor while it's gone. Make sure everything's uh, nice and clean in there. Make sure all this dirt and whatnot's all out of there. And then a uh, gasket kit should be here in like a day or two. And then uh, as soon as I get news from the crank, which I'm hoping that he can just put a bearing and an end on it. And then a uh, crank kit will like have all this stuff. Gasket and whatnot, and then a uh, whole gasket kit, and then uh, get it all back together, and then I can get it back in the uh, sled here. And then I uh, already did the Pro R conversion on the sled, as you guys saw in the other videos, but now I got a GoPro here that I can record off of. Just picked it up yesterday or two days ago for Black Friday. So now I can have some nice clear videos for you guys. So I figured I'd uh, show you guys everything here. Pistons and everything, I labeled them. Just gotta see what one's actually front and, or like exhaust, or where they should face. But it's all coming together. And uh, now we'll, uh, we'll move on to something else uh, while this is down and uh, get some of that other stuff sorted out over there. So let's get into that. All right, guys, here is the Scrambler 500. And uh, I actually took this apart, uh, like actually a few months ago uh, for the Predator, because my Predator needed this little throttle guide piece that sits right there in the side of the carburetor and uh, controls the carburetor. And I've had a new one, and then it also leaked gas out of the carburetor bowl. And, uh, I mean, I've had the parts for a while now. Just haven't gotten around to it, and then working on the snowmobile and stuff. And, uh, finishing up the Predator, just never got back to it. So, now I figured I'd, uh, actually come and, uh, start working on it again and get it finished up. Uh, just so I don't got parts laying around in the garage anymore. And uh, just trying to clean up the garage a little bit here, guys. So let me just get a stand. And I can set you guys on this. And uh, get to work here. So hopefully that'll work right there. And uh, got to take the carburetor apart. Actually... I already had this thing apart once, and I uh, replaced the gaskets in here, and then when I had it all back together, I went on a trip with it, and uh, it started leaking a little bit of gas out the carburetor, or on the bowl, so I uh, just got another gasket. I mean, also, part of it could have been, um, I mean, I guess maybe the gasket could have possibly been bad and not sealed right. But on these, I also don't like how there's only two screws holding the bowl on instead of four. Um, I think that's a pretty stupid design. But anyways, just going to get this gasket switched out anyways right here. Just going to pull that off of there. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know. I can't tell, but I'll get this new one on there. Hopefully it'll fix our problems. And I don't know, this thing also is weird when you go to start it. It's like all the, like, it's like it doesn't stay primed. So if you go and park it, and then come back to it the next day, or like a few days later, it uh, like acts like it's not primed up with fuel. Yeah, sit there and uh, get it primed with fuel again. It's pretty annoying, but uh, that's another problem. And then you want to just make sure that your gasket seats in there all like level and evenly so that it doesn't get kinked or anything when it goes together so i got it on there pretty good and then just make sure that it goes on the carburetor the right way and then you put your your screws back in it This one is kind of weird. Let's see here, let me get it over here. Something like that. There it goes. This one probably went here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this bracket is for, but I'm just going to tighten it down anyways. I don't even think it was being used, to be honest. So here's the throttle. You don't want to stick that through the carburetor there. And then get the throttle up like that. And you can thread it in. And this thing is just at, I believe, at 8 millimeter. And then grab this guide and fits perfectly. So then you're going to want to stick your finger in here and push it so that it turns. I'm just going to want to put that in right there and lock it. So it should look like that for you guys. And that's all good. And I didn't touch the choke or nothing. And then, let's see, okay, yeah, I got the plate right here. Oh, there's the basket. Hopefully this gasket doesn't give me too much trouble. Like you usually do. Sometimes a little bit of oil helps hold them in place. 
Let's see here. Screws for it. 